when you are identify with a cult leader, when you feel that you are powerless, you want the cult leader to be omnipotent because that identification with the cult leader uh, it substitutes uh, or gives you the illusion of power. So his followers want him to flout all the rules and lie and uh, flip the middle finger at the establishment. And, uh, and so sitting up and, you know, day after day listing all his lies, uh, it, he's impervious to that. It doesn't affect a cult leader. Um, and so the, the mainstream establishment has never figured out how to deal with Trump. But if Trump loses, uh, I, I think all the ominous warnings are correct. Uh, he isn't going to admit that he lost. Uh, he will. He's already stoking violence, inciting violence. That's part of his rhetoric. That will get worse because the uh, ruling elites, Democrat and Republican, have, have failed to respond to the looming crisis economic and political uh, that I just outlined in terms of evictions and, you know, unemployment and everything else, then, yeah, things are going to get worse. And and these wars, which are just hollowing the country out from the inside, aren't going to end. Wholesale surveillance, we're the most watched, spied upon, monitored, eavesdropped, photographed population in human history. And I, as a reporter, covered the Stasi state in East Germany. None of that's going away under Biden. So all of the conditions of corporate tyranny that were implanted in large part by the Democratic Party. And Biden uh, wasn't just uh, Biden. I mean, Obama. I'm I'm very close to Julian Assange and would be in London, but for COVID, um, was in London sitting in the courtroom at the last hearing. Biden will extradite and torture and lock Assange away, uh, just like Trump. The, The mechanisms of control that are now in place through militarized police forces, mass incarceration, wholesale surveillance, these systemic problems, uh, are, there is no no daylight between the two parties on these. They're, they they walk in lockstep on this. And what that really means is kind of corporate tyranny. So what do you say to leftists who are urging people to support Biden as the lesser of two evils who could be influenced by the left? I say they live in a fantasy of their own creation. It's a form of political infantilism. The whole idea that politics is reduced to political personalities. You know, you have to look at people's voting records. They didn't, by the way. Obama's Senate voting record is only two years in the Senate. was appalling. was one corporate giveaway after another. That's all the, the power brokers look at. They understand that the rhetoric is done, you know, for the electorate and that once power is achieved, the lobbyists will get to work writing all the legislation and running everything. So, I mean, the political America has always been a country, I think, infected with a kind of infantilism and the left is not immune to that. 